Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has erupted again for the fifth time since December. Hawaii Volcano National Safety The world's most active volcano is back in action as scientists at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory say Kilauea erupted again Wednesday, marking its fifth such episode since it began in December. The latest activity began at Kaluapele, the summit caldera, with a small fountain, shortly before 3 p.m. local time, scientists said, with lava flows beginning to flow a few minutes later. According to the latest update provided by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, current eruptive activity includes a small dome fountain 16 to 33 feet high that is sending short lava flows from the northern vent. Officials said there are currently no signs of activity at the southern vent. Earthquake activity increased around 3 p.m. local time on Wednesday, coinciding with the eruption. Officials said the tilt meter at Uekauna continues to register inflation beneath Halamaumau but is expected to change to deflation as the eruption continues. Scientists say each episode of lava flow since the initial eruption began on December 23, 2024, has lasted between 14 hours and 8 days, with the eruptions separated by lulls lasting less than 24 hours to 12 days. The HVO said it will continue to monitor Kilauea and will issue an update on Thursday or if significant changes occur. Weak and intermittent, sprinkling, had been observed earlier in the day, but it wasn't until 2.57 p.m. that a small burst of lava was seen, signaling the start of a new phase of the eruption, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, which assesses volcanic hazards in the USA. A small lava dome fountain at the north vent is sending short lava flows down the southwest side of the caldera, the USGS wrote in an Instagram post Wednesday. Emissions of volcanic gases have increased compared to the eruptive lull. The USGS noted that observable lava flows began at 2.59 p.m. and seismic vibrations increased at 3 p.m. in an advisory posted Wednesday. The agency wrote that significant hazards from the eruption include wall instability, ground fissures, and rockfalls. It said these hazards could be exacerbated by earthquakes, which would endanger people who get too close to the volcano inside the park. This underscores the extremely dangerous nature of Kilauea's caldera rim surrounding the Halamaumau crater an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007, the USGS said. It said it continues to monitor Kilauea closely and will issue an update on the eruption tomorrow morning unless there are significant changes before then. The fourth and most recent eruptive episode began on January 15th but stopped over the weekend of January 18th. Each lava flow episode since December 23, 2024, has lasted 14 hours to 8 days, and the episodes have been separated by lulls in eruptive activity lasting less than 24 hours to 12 days, the USGS advisory said. According to the USGS, there are about 170 potentially active volcanoes in the US.